Promoting the new evangelization is becoming a priority for the Catholic Church. The Pope is calling on everyone to revitalize the message of the Gospel, and that, of course, includes women. It's not enough to give our everyday speeches. We have to really touch those fibers that perhaps are sleeping. We believe that in this case specifically, women can contribute so much in matters of listening, creativity and beauty. The place of women in the church and their coming role in the new evangelization was recently discussed in Rome's Pontifical Athenium Regina Apostolorum. Martha Rodriguez is the Institute's Director of Advanced Studies on Women. Her team invited 16 women to speak about their personal experiences in the arts, living the gospel, and the daily work of helping those in need. From women who work in hidden corners, like a teacher who works in a small school, to philanthropist and wife of Tony Blair, Sherry Blair, even women who lend support to prostitutes, also parents. We wanted to show a mosaic that shows the female profile of the new evangelization. One of the main challenges is indifference. When speaking about Christianity, organizers say sometimes younger and even older generations just shut down. Often they don't even want to have a dialogue. The goal, the organizers say, is to build a bridge. It's something that women, as good listeners, can help with. Women have always had a key role in the church. The other day we talked about the role of female saints, female doctors of the church. St. Catherine of Siena, for example, who dared to scold the Pope. It's something that perhaps is not very well known because often we hear a critical point of view, but it's usually partial. Other topics included evangelizing through the Internet, education, and the complementary role of men and women in the church.